my channel it's your girl Azine Williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video <laughs> Twenty on light, now on light, twenty. On light. On up. Okay, guys, that has got to be the best video I've seen throughout today. Like, you guys don't understand how happy I am to see Peter and Paul actually hanging out together. It makes me super, super happy. Like, now seeing the video, but of the or more like there's nothing more than this. Like, I was. I, I don't even know how to express myself. Like, I'm super, super happy. Yes, guys. Now, away from Peter and Paul, they be one, no be two. Let's go over to White Money. White Money Gang, where you all are, because your king has just been unveiled as the latest male brand ambassador for Jenny's Glow. Now, you all know that this is Jenny's Glow Way. So um, if you're looking for how to take care of your skin, you are looking for your skin to be like that of white money, your king is saying, is Jenny's Glow on nothing. A very big congratulations to him. Okay, guys, away from white money, Queen is having her homecoming today. She's actually in a quiet state as we speak. She went there with Michael, with Nini, Saga, J. Paul, Unfortunately, Pere wasn't there. Or is it because of the pressure from the fans that, you know, Pere decided to distance himself from that homecoming? Hmm. Anyways, Queen is not coming down at all. She says, you people that have been dragging her, you ain't got nothing on her at all. Because baby girl said, it's PJ way on nothing. Private jet on nothing. I mean, she does not do all those, you know, um public airlines mm -mm. it's a private jet movement baby girl carried all her friends you know from lagos in a private jet to akoi bomb state yes guys ah uh ah -uh, these girls levels i'm loving this yes guys they are currently in a bomb state now away from all that hey <laughs> david 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 oh see what they know has turned people into 200 million out here, David. 200 million out here, David. Drop your eyes at David. Drop your eyes at David. You claim you are 30 BG. You don't even have 100 million to clear your Rolls Royce, David. This is 200 million, David. I got 200 million out here, David. Drop your eyes at David. Drop your eyes at David. You are broke, David. You are broke, David. Drop your eyes at David. I'm going to send you this 200 million, David. You are living fake life out here, David. Say you are richer than NBA G boy. Yeah, so my people, that one said that Davido is broke, oh, that uh, he's going to give Davido 200 million naira. Hey, 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 nothing where Pusano goes to forget, though. <laughs> Anyways, he's not the only one that has been affected, you know, with this whole Davido uh, 1 million naira challenge. Ah, the video has got other celebrities thinking about their life and their circle. Ah, the likes of actress Iversin, Destiny, and Tico. Even the judge was like, ha, ha, ha. Even our very own Obi Kubana, the billionaire himself, said, ha, it looks like I'm going to be, you know, posting my answer. Let me know who are my friends. Yeah, so the one that has actually caught my attention is your favorite ex big brother Niger housemates, guys. Um, uh, they decided to join the challenge. I don't know if if it's just cruise <laughs> or if they are just being serious yes guys the first one i saw is pare yes guys your general like he put this out and said 
The emblem on my neck signifies authority. There will be no disrespect on my account, on my account balance. Lovers and friends, time to show yourself. So at David O says it's appreciation day. Then he put out his account number. And you guys, I mean, Patreon did not disappoint. Like, you guys were sending him money. This one sent 1,000 error. This one sent 10,000 error. This one sent 100,000 error. This one even gave my sent 10 error. <laughs> oh, no. If you sent 10 error, how much would they not like collect for deliveries, charges, I mean, whatever? Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, now, wow. Anyways, Para is not the only one who that caught the bug. Even Lika Rose came on Twitter, you know, posted, you know, the description of the video. Or reposted the video, rather, and said, Sweetheart, are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Ha-ha! <laughs> are you all thinking what Lika is thinking? She wants you all to put some money in the Aza. Put your money where your mouth is. You guys say you love Lika. Lika, um, what's that called? Lika... Liko Rose fans, Ro uh, Rose Army, Shayo FC, Liko Lions. It's time to, you know, bring the money. <laughs> this is really, really funny. Like, this trend is super, super funny to me. Yes, guys. I mean, very soon. I told you guys, I'm waiting for December to come. Ah, uh ah. -uh. By the time I'll be like, all those people that I made laugh, all those people I gave the G's, Put the money in the Aza. Yes, so put your money in the account, baby. Yes, and oh, talking about David Doe. Mm, boy has raised over 124 million. I kid you not. You know, the goal was for him to raise just 100 million. He has raised over 124 million. Like some people were sending 5 million. He, the brand he's been working with sent, um, Munchie sent 1 million. Um, uh, Wema Bank even sent money to him. Um, uh, the lesson from this whole thing is be good. Be good to people. You see, the good you do to others somehow comes back to you. I've never seen somebody that does good to people and has been left stranded. It might not be immediately, but you will surely, surely reap the reward of that goodness. Uh, like I said in my previous video, a lot of people feel like it's just because one hour he raised that money. Oh, um, no. Like, this are uh, the seeds he planted 10 years ago, 8 years ago, 11 years ago, that he's actually reaping now. We all know in the industry, Davido is one of those people that has actually helped other people grow. Like, he literally will feature in anybody's song and make it a hit. That is Davido for you. So, I'm super, super happy for him. Now, there was this particular fan of David that actually met him davido i think he's in dubai or something i don't know um i met him at the mall and counted ten thousand drehams which is about 1.6 million naira, and gave davido guys cash i just met him at the mall yes, I, 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 you say you want to give him how much it's one million one million for betting people yo 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 no i won't give him more than one million Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 1.6, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, <laughs> <this. laughs> I want to do that. I want to do. Ah, my bed is going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, that's the video, guys. The guy just counted it. Like, when I saw it, I'm like, calculating this money this guy is carrying in Naira. That means, ah, our Naira has fallen short of the glory. Oh. Anyways, that's not even the gist. The gist is, apparently, this guy that decided to, you know, bless Davido with some money is actually owing someone. Or more, the person called him out and said, people get mad, Sha. You're the old person and you get mad, they give Davido money. Thank your star say we know they Dubai today, but no worry. Weekend, we go find you. Come. Oh more. Just because you want to show yourself, just because you want to answer name, now you go hey, hey, expose yourself to the people where you they owe. <laughs> oh Lord, uh, may the Lord be with you. Yes, because <laughs> they can't drag when they go drag you. AC May will just talk about it, and that is it. Yes, guys. Now away from all that, still in the shades and dragging season. One thing about this particular set of ex-housemates is we've really not seen them give basketballs or shade their fellow housemates, but it looks as if that season or era is about to come to an end because this evening, Emmanuel put out this message 
which to me looks like a shade to a particular housemate or housemates. Now, this is what he said. He said, um, beauty attracts character kids. It's okay to be worried if one is not interested in you, but learn and grow up sharp before it's too late. So now when I saw this, I was like, okay, what exactly is happening here? Because I mean, you can't just come out and put something out like this. Probably you are shading somebody. Then I now um, came across this podcast where um, JMK and Angel were guests, yes, and they talked about a lot of things. The podcast was about an hour 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, or an hour 31 minutes. And because of what he put out, I had to go listen to it. Like I spent one hour 31 seconds of my life to listen, a bit 31 minutes of my life to listen so that I can actually find out what exactly happened. So in the podcast, they talked about a whole lot of things. They talked about, you know, um, life in the Big Brother house, life outside the Big Brother house, life before the Big Brother house. They talked about, you know, um, patriarchy. They talked about a whole lot of things. Now, I think where, you know, um, Emmanuel's shade is coming from is, I think when they talked about shapes, um, JMK, talked about, you know, um, fans, you know, that there are sort of people that a person or somebody that their fans, you know, were like, oh, she's trying to break up, you know, um, their relationship in the house, that she's trying to take the man, you know, and she didn't really know anything about that according to her, you know, that when she came out, because she thought nobody was going to drag her and she's good, but it's when she came out, she started, you know, getting, you know, insults, people writing paragraphs, calling her a homewrecker, you know, Angel said the same thing. And they also mentioned the fact that about shifts, how some people are benefiting with shifts. Like, you find a shift that is beneficial to you and you are getting stuff out of the shape, you keep staying on the shape and all that. So I think that is where Emmanuel is coming from. Now, is he right in putting this out? Me, I don't know. Because people perceive things differently. And I would not say, oh, why did JMK and Angel say what they said? Because... They were asked a question and they responded to it. People should not be made to be afraid to say their mind. Like, you feel a certain way, I feel a certain way, and it's cool to say what you said. Say your mind. This is the era to say your mind and not to be bottling things out, bottling things in, sorry, before you just, you know, bottle things in, so till you get ulcer. And Emmanuel is also cool in, you know, letting his mind out. And, oh, before I tell you where, you know, what my issue is in this whole thing, I didn't know that Emmanuel was a golden boy, you, because they kept mentioning golden boy. It took time for it to click. The only golden boy I know is my cross. I mean, that's the only official golden boy I know. So I didn't know that people were sharing that title. You know that guy has, to me, is the golden boy in that house. The only official golden boy we know is cross, cross, cross. I'm just putting it out there. Now, what is my issue in this whole thing? My issue is the fact. Because when this made it to blogs, this whole thing went, went to blogs. Ah, I saw a lot of, oh, this is it. Oh, they rejected you. Oh, no, no. even the man said rejected. Because let's be truthful here. Did you see any rejection in the house? Like, did you see anybody pushing for a relationship in the house and was rejected? I did not. I saw people catching crews. People enabling the crews. So you might drag me all you want in the comment section, but I will say the truth. I did not see anybody going for a relationship and was rejected. So, but like I said, people have different sentiments. Now for the fans saying, oh, they rejected you, go and rest. So wait, oh, let me ask you people a question. So if I go on an interview and they ask me a question, I'll be like, mm, I will not talk because of what? I don't know if you people understand that these people are humans too, just like you. And the fact that you like somebody does not mean that they can't talk about the person. People talk about God. People talk about our political leaders. So who is your faith that people can't talk about that? Why do you feel like you alone have the right to talk about a particular person, but they can't talk about your faith? You see this hypocrisy that that's the only thing. I enjoy Big Brother, but you see your, the fans' hypocrisy, that's the only thing that pisses me off in this whole Big Brother thing. Like... Oh, because it's my faith. My faith can't talk about anybody. But nobody should talk about my faith. Ha! <laughs> oh, Rishi, Rishi, she, she, she. Please, oh. 
you guys should take it easy. What I know is, whatever beef these people are having, me, I will sit and watch it to the end. Because when it comes to the reunion, at least we now have content. It's not going to be all love and light. Even though I love love and light, but I still want some bit of drama. So when reunion comes, Ebuka, the table shaker will do his job. And we will know who is the rejected, attracted, and the attractee. That's all I have to say. What you guys have to say, let me know in the comments section. And on that note, I say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead. Bye, guys!